Hey podcasters, I just wanted to take this opportunity, this is our promo before our main show. I just want to make sure that you are part of our amazing Facebook community. It is for active creative entrepreneurs and professional business owners from around the globe. It is not one of those spammy, it's all about me type of sales groups. This Facebook group, I actually created it to help build relationships, strong relationships and conversations. But more importantly, you can also plug into some of our special events and get invitations. But it's just a great, great tool. And everyone comes from a place of value, which I absolutely love and endorse. So listen, guys, if you're not already part of our Facebook community, make sure that you go to www.facebook.com. Okay, forward slash groups, forward slash become a game changer. All right, Uh, I'll ask you for a few questions and make sure that you do that right now. Pause this audio, okay? Uh, Go to the Facebook group and uh, introduce yourself and look forward to seeing you in there. Take care, bye. This is the Game Changers Experience. Deep dive conversations with leading business disruptors, Olympic athletes, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and influencers from around the world. This show will teach you insights about the winning principles in mindset, productivity, marketing, branding, entrepreneurship, business strategy, and more. Hosted by Productivity Authority, business strategist, former elite athlete, author, and public speaker, Adam Strong. Hey, you guys, and welcome to Power Up Thursdays with myself, Adam Strong. Um, Today, I am... uh, I wanted to uh, share something which was really interesting because this week, actually, I got um, invited onto a podcast with my good friend, JP. And he asked me a really interesting question, which was all around, you know, how do we build momentum? And so I gave him some great tips and insights about how to create this build momentum. And I seem to have got this, I seem to have been attracted. I suppose a lot of people have been asking me these questions about what, how is it that I've got into this, I suppose, action taking mindset you know because people are struggling with whatever it is of creating this momentum and so you know for you guys that are either listening to me for the first time or if you're listening or you've really listened to quite a few episodes you'll know that my middle name is action taking you know adam action taking strong that's what it's all about right um and I'm, today I'm going to give you, share some tips and advice about how is it that you can b- build momentum, but more importantly, how is it that you can then sustain your momentum? Because what I see right now, especially when there's so much going on in the world right now, there's so many distractions, right? And most of us, especially if you're listening to this podcast, are probably working from home as well. And, um, and you know, that's a distraction in its own right, okay? And... Uh, I think from my perspective, you know, it's interesting because my uh, circumstances is that I have two young kids. One is the age of two, one is uh, five months. So, you know, balancing, I suppose, family life as well as running uh, three companies now, it's it's very challenging. It's extremely challenging. And, um, but, you know, uh, you just have to try and make that, trying to, Try to create that fine balance. Try to make that fine balance to see what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So today I wanted to share, I suppose, a number of tips and insights about how to build and sustain momentum. So I want to kind of share an experience with you because some of you know me through um, the Game Changer Summit, uh, which we did back in the spring. And um, I'm going to share some, some, I suppose, my concept or I suppose my analogy about not the reasons why I created it, but I'm going to use that as a, as a, as a blueprint uh, to help you, I suppose, to focus your mind about how you can create your own momentum in your own business. Uh, so I wanted to kind of share that with you. So, um, so first thing, first things first is when we want to get into a state of momentum, because it is essentially a state of momentum, it is a mindset of momentum, okay, is I want you to think about what is it, what is the impact that you actually want to create in the first place? Because I think One of the reasons why, one of the things that that I see right now is that a lot of you guys that are listening into this podcast, you're thinking of the end result, right? So I was speaking to a friend of mine yesterday, and he won't mind me. His name is Paul, by the way. And so he was talking about, you know, I want to get like 2,000 or I want to get 3,000 to do this or whatever it is. And I'm like, Paul, what I would like you to do is I want you to focus, don't focus on the numbers because you're going to put this like, 
you're going to put so much pressure on yourself. If you don't hit the numbers, you're going to feel disappointed. And you're using it as a platform to see, okay, if it's successful or not. But what I'm saying to you right now, guys, is I want you to think about what is the long-term and the short-term impact that you want to create? What is it? What, whatever it is that you're working on right now, okay? Whether it be writing a book, uh, launching your own podcast like me, um, whether that, that be um, attracting new clients, growing your clients or whatever it might be, or launching a product, the fundamentals don't change. I want you to think of the impact that whatever it is that you're doing right now, what is the impact that you want to try to create for people? It's super important to, to get an, an understanding of that. Um, secondly, um, how do you want to make people feel, right? Because essentially, this is not about you. This is about the people that you are speaking to, your prospects, your target market, your niche, whatever you want to call it, right? Is how do you want them to feel based on the experience that you give them, all right? And I really want you to put that in, to, in mind because, again, I think that we get too wrapped up in in – I suppose, you know, we get too wrapped up in the numbers. We get too wrapped up in, well, I'm going to earn X amount of money or I'm going to I'm going to have X amount of leads or whatever it is. Come away from that, guys, because what you're doing is you're scratching the surface level, right? You're scratching the surface level. You need to go much deeper into the reasons why, um, you know, how is it that you want to make people feel essentially? Because if you can understand how the emotions that you want to create for people, then you can essentially think, okay, well, this is the emotions. These are the feelings that I want to give people. Then you can essentially mold whatever it is that you are trying to get out there or trying to finish or, or whatever it might be. Then, it, then essentially it will become, it will, it will streamline and it will make things a whole lot more easier. The third one I would probably say is what value do, do you bring to the table? So for me, I come from a place of serve right? So the more that I serve people, the more that I help people, people like you guys that are listening to the podcast right now, I know that I'm doing my duty, all right? Because I feel that from my perspective, from my perspective, I believe that I have, a, I have a bigger purpose in life. And that is to genuinely help people, all right? So what is it that you bring to the table in terms of value? What is the, uh, what are the benefits, should we say, of um, bringing to the table, right? The fourth one is serve without expectation. And I talked about this actually on with JP actually the other day on his podcast. And uh, he said, he said, the reason I wanted to bring you on here is because you literally just create endless amounts of content, but you have no expectations. And the thing is, is that if you have, if you have an expectation, you become disappointed all right. And, and it's the same in relationships. If you're married, by the way, and you have these, you, you, you're going to have certain expectations because there's going to be a communication, whatever it is. Um, but if they're generally, in general speaking, especially when it comes to business terms and, or whatever it might be, but if you have expectations and they have not clearly been communicated, then you're going to be disappointed. So I never have expectations. All right. I just do what I feel is best for you guys. I do. I try to perform at my best. I try to give my best. I bring my A game. That's what I do. But I serve without expectation. When we did, uh, when we created and launched the Game Changer Summit, which was for, for the benefit of the people that are listening to the first time today, is essentially it was a summit over a 30 day period, 30 of the world's leading industry authorities in entrepreneurship, startups, um, <laughs> mindset, branding, marketing, you name it, we pretty much covered it. Uh, we had Jack Canfield, John Martini, et cetera. And for me, I gave everything for free. I gave everything for free without expectation, right? And off the back of that, um, I got featured on the front cover of a big magazine called Influential People magazine. Um, I got, um, I'm, I'm up for, a, a nom been nominated for an award. Um, I basically got a pool of opportunities coming into my inbox. I get daily emails from people like you guys saying, I love your podcast. You inspire me. You energize me. Um, I get reviews and all of this is like fuel, right? This is like fuel, this is the energy, and it, and it gives me this higher purpose in life. And, it, and uh, it makes me fulfilled. It fills up my fulfillment tank, I suppose. The next one is focus, 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 right? So important because um, 
if you are one of these guys that essentially finds it very difficult to focus on one thing at a time, um, especially right brain people who have so many different ideas but never get stuff done, um, what I would endorse you guys to do actually is think about think about the the thing that's most important to you and your clients right now. Okay, what is it that works? What is it that doesn't work? And really, I suppose from my perspective, is to focus on getting it done. All right. Just, just get yourself in that zone. And we'll talk about that actually on, an, on another uh, power up Thursday about getting into the zone and how I get into the zone. The next one is block out distractions because there are so many distractions in the world right now, especially uh, the media, uh, your environment, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, you know, most of you are working from home. So, you know, there's so many different distractions. But I, what I would actually do is I would actually make a get yourself a A4 sheet of paper and write down all of the things that distract you and prevent you from moving forward and from taking action. Or they, I suppose, I suppose they uh, they cause these hurdles which prevent you from going in a different direction, all right? Make a list of those things because if you make a list of those things, you can then say, okay, well, this is this is a major disruption in my life. How are we then going to be able to replace it or change it or whatever it is? You can then become more what I call spatially aware of um, of what you need to do in terms of taking action. So that's the next one. Next one is create high energy and enthusiasm, right? So people buy people, right? And when we talk about growing a business, it's all around trust and credibility, okay? So if you create, it's not about the product that you sell. It's not about the service that you offer. It's not about, you know, <laughs> it's not, it's, it's none, and it's not, none, none about that. It's about, how, what is your energy that you're giving off to people? You know, so uh, let me give you an example. If I was to say to you, hi there, and I have this great uh, accelerator program for you. Uh, it covers uh, clarity and sales and this and that. I think, it'll be a, I think you would be an ideal client for it. Whereas if I actually came to the table and said, Hey guys, I just wanted to offer this. Uh, we have the, the Game Changers Next Level Club. It is a, an abundance of knowledge where we meet up once a month. It's a masterclass for three hours. We bring in a speaker. We go through kit, clarity, pitch, and uh, accountability. It is a number. It is an, a, a year's program, and it is absolutely fantastic for building uh, meaningful relationships. So the energy that I give off, right, and the enthusiasm is going to attract people to that, right? So, you know, energy and enthusiasm sells essentially at the end of the day, right? And uh, it, it draws a particular crowd to people, all right? Uh, so the next one, change your environment. So, <laughs> again, I was speaking to a good friend of mine, actually, um, when was it? Yesterday. And she said to me, she said, Adam, she said, how is it that you're able to say so productive, you know? Um, because they've actually just moved into an office. And uh, she said, I love working from home, but the thing is, I just, I feel like I don't get much stuff done. And if you are in an environment where it uplifts you and gives you energy and gives you focus time, then great, fantastic. But if you are in an environment where you don't get any of those things, then you need to change your environment. All right, so some people work particularly well working from home. Some people, um, don't work particularly well. Um, so, you know, and also if you are working in a um, co-working space or an environment where you have toxic employees or you have toxic people around you, you need to change your environment um, because there are just too many toxic people out there. You need to avoid the toxicity out there, okay? Just avoid that. The next thing is to work in surges. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, what is a surge, Adam? How does a surge exactly work? What a, so one of the best ways to describe a surge is essentially, you know, one of those big um, A2 or uh, A1 uh, yearly annual calendar. And I tend to work off my financial year, and our financial year is the end of January. And so when, when it comes to surges, a surge is essentially a maximum of around three months. And within that three months, it's complete focus time on all the things that you would like to uh, impact and accomplish uh, in terms of um, whether it be a launch program, launch product, um, connect, build relationships, whatever it is 
that you want to create, okay? So you have these surges, and then after a surge, you have a period of reflection. So a period of reflection is uh, essentially a minimum of at least a week, uh, and you sit down, you think about, you go through all the things that you've achieved, and you give yourself a pat on the back and some downtime, and whatever it is that, I suppose, whatever it is that really kind of gives you downtime, whether it be, uh, you know, go away uh, for a five-day long weekend, whatever it might be, but literally is just to switch off, have some downtime, give yourself a pat on the back, because us entrepreneurs and business owners can be extremely hard on ourselves uh, in terms of getting stuff done. And I, and I really kind of want you to, and we'll talk about that in a second, actually, but I really want you to uh, look up to that. So create a surge. A surge is a maximum of normally around three months, and then you tend to have a minimum of one week, and then you plan it out uh, throughout the year based on, you know, a, each business is slightly different anyway. So, uh, so create your surges. Uh, next thing, which I think is really, really good, is celebrate your wins. So important. Um, as an athlete, by the way, uh, or an ex uh, former elite athlete, one of the things that I find particularly difficult is that I'm extremely hard on myself, purely because um, that is just the way I've grown up. That's the way. That's the way. Essentially, uh, I suppose I've been wired. Right. If I don't feel like I'm achieving or performing at a high performance, um, you know, I'm going to be hard on myself. But I think what's really important is that, you know, if you've accomplished something, even if it's a small win, it, it, dep it doesn't matter how big or how small it, but it's a win to you guys. Make sure you celebrate that in any way, shape or form that you do, um, because it's so important for, for sanity, more importantly, um, really, really important. Um, next one, take calculated risks. Because at the end of the day, if you take risk out, you take opportunity out, all right? And I know that there is a, a lot of people that are scared and fearful right now. And listen, guys, if you don't take any risks in life, okay, you know, and, and life is a risk, right? If you don't take any risks out, you take those off. Those opportunities do not materialize. They are very hard to come by. But uh, take calculated risks, you know, and uh, so, so important, Next thing is just do it. Have this mentality of just doing it, right? Don't worry about what other people think about you. And we talked, actually, if you listen to last week's Power Up Thursdays, I talk about, um, I talked, I talked about um, being more authentic and uh, also around um, uh, judgment and what, pe what, what you should and shouldn't think about what people think about you. Um, so I think it's really, really important. Next one, there's no such thing as perfectionism. All right, so for you guys that are listening in and you're a perfectionist, okay, I really want you to get this into your head. There is no such thing as perfectionism. So if you are holding off, right, waiting for normality, whatever that looks like, if you are an event planner, if you're a speaker, for example, whatever it might be, okay, and you're waiting for normality or you're waiting for um, the environment to be perfect or you're waiting for... Um, uh, every, you know, you're, you're, you're just waiting for the perfect time. There's never going to be a perfect time. There's never going to be a perfect place. All I would say to you is that if you are just get it out there, right? Because otherwise you're going to, you're going to, it's going to be outdated that you're going to be full of regrets and you could be helping so many people. You really could be. Um, I speak that from experience, right? Next one is stop chasing the money. Because from my perspective, one of the things that I see right now because there's a lot of fear and uncertainty right now, is that you've got to stop chasing the money. Um, I come from a place of service, as you know, and money is a byproduct of your success, okay? And if you, the more people that you serve and that you help, um, the more people uh, that will trust and you build credibility, it's what I call the long game. If you go around with, um, I need to make this amount of money or I need to create this amount of leads, all right, because I think one of the things that I've found right now, especially in conversations that I've had over the last week, is they're so focused on the doing, as in the strategy, right? Um, that is the wrong type of mindset that you need to have right now. What you need to think about right now is what is the vision that you want to create? What is the impact that you want to create? So stop chasing the money, okay, because it will come. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time, all right? Um and the last one, which I think is probably one of the most important, probably one of the most important 
uh, factors in creating and building momentum is just be you. Because from my perspective, there's so many fake people out there, right? There's so many people that are trying to, I suppose, it's all about them. It, guys, listen, I'm going to make this very crystal clear. It's not about you. It's about the people that you can help. All right, so push your ego to one side, okay, and get back here into reality, okay? It's not about you, it's about them, all right? So important, because if you're focused on others, you will, you, and I'm a big believer of this, right? I, never, you, I, I was skeptical about this originally, but the more that you help people, the more that you, the universe will reward you in kind, Okay. And like I said, I'm not a religious person. I, all I know is that it, this stuff works. And the reason I know it works is because it's happened to me. Number one, number two, uh, some of the uh, most influential people that I have interviewed, such as Jack Canfield and John D. Martini, they have endorsed it as well. It's happened to those guys. So if it's good enough for, uh, you know, you know, for example, with Jack, who's uh, I believe is a uh, 50 times New York Times bestselling author. John D. Martini is one of the world's leading psychologists in the world. And for me, it must be good enough for you guys. So listen, um, I wanted to take this opportunity and I hope that what I've given you today has given you, uh, I guess, a kick up the ass <laughs> in, in, in a way, but more importantly is, 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 is to really help you create that momentum that we all need right now. Um, it's so important to lean in as well because the more that you lean into people, uh, the more help that you're going to, you're essentially, you're essentially getting ahead of the game because, you know, if you're running a business, it doesn't matter if you're running a business of a Fortune 500 company or you're running a small business. It, the fundamentals don't change. It can be extremely lonely. So it's so important, guys, to lean in and work together. And you know what? I hope that some of the golden nuggets and insights that I've taught you today has given you a little bit of a, a little bit more of a I suppose, a little bit more of an idea about how you can essentially take this and implement it into your own lives uh, on a personal level and also on a business level. So listen, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for listening in to the Power Up Thursdays episodes. I hope that you're enjoying it, by the way, and uh, we'll see you on the next Power Up Thursday uh, episode. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for listening in to this episode of the Game Changers Experience. I hope that you got some amazing value, some great insights and golden nuggets that you can implement into your business straight away. I would really, really appreciate it if you could leave a five-star review on the button below. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.